The bishop-elect, who was received by the two paramount rulers, said the visit was to commiserate with the chiefdoms over the recent clash that led to the loss of life and property. Bishop Calvin Atonzo II revealed that as a church and the body of Christ, the church was touched to condole, comfort, and pray with the people so that God will bring an end to such an ugly incident. We felt what was going on here, and that is why we decided to come personally to see you and to commiserate with you and let you know that our hearts are with you, our prayers are with you, and we believe that God will continue to protect the human kingdom and the environs and help us to live in peace. Receiving the bishop, the Hamabachama Herman Honest Irmia Stephen and Hamabata Herman Glasson Alhamdu Teneke thanked the August visitor and his team for the show of concern to the people of the chiefdom, saying no leader would like to rejoice over the death of his neighbors, adding that peace with all men is their heartfelt desire. Whatever happened, it's unfortunate. No right thinking human being will sit back, the Muslim or Christian. Magian or Buddhist, or even those who are vowed to the traditional religion without knowing in ignorance that it is God, and jubilates over this senselessness. And I'm aware all religious books are law or prohibit the killing of a human being by another singular purpose that we need among our Christians mm. everywhere so that this is a time we come together and make sure that we pursue this peaceful coexistence even with our enemies mm. irrespective of our denominations. Mm. The Archbishop was accompanied by the resident pastor of International Praise Church, Yola, Reverend Melchi Banu, and church workers who donated 10 bags of grains to cushion the effects of destruction on the victims. Special prayers were offered for the chiefdoms, state, and the country.